Hello and welcome. Two years ago, Harrogate welcomed the world in the form of the UCI World Road Cycling Championships. Back in 2014, poor old Mark Cavendish fell off his bicycle outside Betty's Tea Rooms during the first stage of the Tour de France. But did you know that it was right here, outside our very own Royal Hall, that in 1878, the first ever bicycle club was formed on this spot. Over 100 members met up on their penny farthings and their tricycles, and Harrogate ever since then has been cycling mad. James Starley's invention meant that for the first time people could travel by their own means, outside of their own rural communities. But it wasn't just life in the UK that the bicycle was changing, it was around the world as well, especially across the pond. Follow me. By the turn of the 20th century, two brothers from Dayton, Ohio, had opened their first ever bicycle shop, but cycling wasn't their passion. What they really were interested in was aviation, and in 1903 they cracked it by combining a combustion engine with their design and creating the first ever proper flying machine. It only went for 102 yards and got little more than a few feet off the ground, but it was captured in this infamous photograph. The photo was sent over to Europe and the president of the French Aero Club invited them over to Paris where they demonstrated their new flying machine to a jaw-dropped audience. A few years later, Britain, France, Germany had all copied their designs and had flying machines of their own. Inevitably, this led to racing. And in 1911, the Daily Mail announced the first ever round Britain air race, the second stage of which would demand more of these pilots than had ever been asked them before. A 183 mile journey, all the way from Hendon, North London, to the Stray here in Harrogate. And at 7.02 in the morning, the first planes arrived over the horizon, and what greeted the people on the ground would have been just as shocking for the pilots up in the sky. 70,000 people had arrived up here, some on bandstand, others just crowded around the stray. Four times the population of the town, plus one and a half thousand motor cars had driven in, creating Harrogate's first ever traffic jam. The Chamber of Trade even commissioned a solid sterling silver tea set that was presented to James Valentine, one of the first pilots to arrive here, but he had to very graciously hand it back as the tea set was too heavy for him to take off again. By the Second World War though, this had been converted into farmland where crops were being grown to feed the population of the town and trenches dug to stop the Luftwaffe from landing. By the summer of 1940, the Battle of Britain was well underway, as was the aerial bombardment of mainland Europe. To avoid the worst devastation, not only the civilians, but also the government ministries, moving outside of the large cities, the more rural areas. And the Air Ministry chose Harrogate to come to. They requisitioned all of the great buildings and hotels from the Majestic, the Crown, the White Hart, even the Grand up on the top there towards Menworth Hill. Moving everything up here from High Command's logistic bases to the training of young officers, including the Women's Auxiliary Air Force or WAF, you had American, Canadian, Australian airmen returning from the front, and the cluster of buildings are fondly referred to as REF Harrogate, despite the fact we didn't have a single runway in the town. In fact, this was being used for all sorts of amazing purposes, and to this day, whenever the air ministry do find themselves in the vicinity, they always make sure to swing by and say hello. Can't see the mirror. By the summer of 1940, the Battle of Britain was well underway, as was the aerial bombardment of mainland Europe. To avoid the worst devastation, not only the civilians, but also the government ministries, but the outside of the large cities, the more rural areas. And the air ministry chose Harrogate to come to. And to this day, whenever the RAF are in town, they always make sure to swing by and say hello.